intoxicated and speeding. That is how investigators describe the 68 year old driver who killed a doctor riding her bicycle on Spruce Street. The tragic loss of life is leading to new calls for change and serving as a reminder to all drivers to be cautious. It is important that people remember that people whose primary mode of transportation is a bike, is walking. They have a right to safety. They have a right to be able to get themselves where they are going without fearing that they are going to die. Cycling advocates say Spruce Street has one of the most popular bike lanes in the city, but it's too dangerous for cyclists. Good Thursday afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Siafa Lewis. And I'm Yuki Washington in for Natasha Brown. Our chopper was over this area of Spruce Street today. It's one way, one lane, narrow street with a speed limit of 25 miles per hour. Police say the driver who killed Dr. Barbara Fetus was driving nearly 60 miles an hour when he hit her at Spruce and 18th. CBS Philadelphia's Ray Strickland has new details on the investigation and the charges that driver now faces. Obviously, the crime is horrible. The outcome is almost unspeakable. More than a week after Barbara Friedis's death, Philadelphia District Attorney Larry Krasner announced charges against a 68-year-old driver. Evidence in this case, only recently available, has established that he was intoxicated, that he had alcohol in his system at twice the, the legal limit. It was essentially a 0.16. Krasner says Michael Vahey turned himself into police Wednesday night. Vahey is now facing several charges that include homicide by vehicle, involuntary manslaughter, and DUI. He was traveling at at least 57 miles an hour when he struck Dr. Frieda's. He also almost struck another pedestrian as well. Prosecutors are accusing Vahey of being behind the wheel of the car that struck and killed Frieda's while she was riding her bike in a designated bike lane. It happened in Rittenhouse Square on Spruce Street near South 18th last Wednesday. But in the days since her death, many began to question why it took so long to arrest the driver. Krasner and Philadelphia Police Commissioner Kevin Bethel explained. The driver went to the hospital and he was there for a while. You know, obviously police want to, and police have a, an obligation to save lives. Um, and that obligation is even higher than speeding up an investigation by a day or two. These are very complex investigations, you know, and we have to take them. Uh, and, you know, this is a, it's a homicide, right? I mean, someone was killed by a vehicle. We're going to treat it in that manner. There's blood work that has to be retrieved at that location. There's warrants that have to be uh, submitted to get that retrieval. And we have to make sure we go through a very methodical process. And Krasner says he has been in contact with the Frieda's family and hopes to speak with him soon. Now, coming up at 6, we're going to have more on this case, including a renewed push for better safety measures to protect cyclists and also possible legislation to prevent this from happening to someone else. Reporting for CBS News Philadelphia, I'm Ray Strickland.